You know, Matthew 27, verse 50 through 52, Jesus, when he was hanging on the cross, he cried out with a loud voice. And then he hung his head, the locks of his shoulder, and he gave up the ghost. Earthquake hit that hill in that region that day. The rocks rent, the earth opened, and the veil in the temple rent twain from top to bottom. Come on, somebody. In other words, he was exposed in empty religion. Ark of the Covenant weren't behind that curtain. That curtain was pretty. Somebody shot they had a whole lot of purdy, but didn't have no power. Jesus ripped up their purdy. He ripped up their religion. Their religion said, we got it. Amen, but behind the curtain, there weren't nothing there. Some say, well, where's the ark at? Some have tried to get on the History Channel, and they have went on their search, and they say, well, it's here, it's there, or maybe it's there. We don't really know, but it's here somewhere. I want you to know where it's at, but before I tell you where it's at, let me tell you who it is. The ark was on the cross. He is the glory of God. He is the glory. The lamb that was slain, he is the glory that lights that city which they call heaven. Come on somebody for there there'll be no need for the moon, the sun or the stars for the glory of the Lamb is going to light up that city. Revelation 21, 23. Somebody shout Jesus the Lamb. He is the glory. He is the manifest glory of God. He is the Ark of the Covenant. It ain't behind a curtain but it's on a cross and it was in a tomb but it come out of the tomb and now he's seated ever living. Make an intercessor for us at the right hand of the Father, Hebrews 7 and 25, and he'll come again. And back to Matthew 27, verse 52. <laughs> oh, glory. It said, after his resurrection, dead people, the dead saints in Jerusalem, they've been buried come out of their graves after his resurrection. Somebody shout, that's in your Bible. Matthew 27, won't you read it sometime? Jesus weren't the only one that got up that morning. Took a party with him, amen. Can't you see it? Aunt Susie Q. She'd been dead 35 years. People's talking about that man, Jesus, that, amen, did all them miracles and wonders. Boy, he's really topped off the miracle list now. He, he, he ain't in that tomb no more. And they hear a knock at the door. They come and open the door. There's Aunt Susie Q. She ain't the walking dead. She's like Lazarus. She's been restored completely. She walked out of the tomb. Come on, somebody. Read it. It's in your Bible. Now, I ain't talking about Aunt Susie Q's in your Bible. But I'm talking about those that had slept, who had died, amen, and were in tombs in Jerusalem. After Jesus came out of the grave, they came out. Can't you see them walking through the city? <gasps> Can't you see folks opening the door and seeing somebody that's been dead for a long time? <gasps> I believe that's when some started <gasps> falling out. When they come to get Jesus in the garden to crucify him as he was being betrayed, they said, are you the one? He said, I'm he. And they all fell backward on the ground. He just spoke, I am he. Peter pulls out his sword and cuts off Malachus's ear. And Malachus's ear falls to the ground. This is one of the soldiers of the Sanhedrin court uh, of the Pharisees uh, that come to arrest Jesus in the garden uh, while Judas uh, is in the background uh, giving Jesus a little peck, a little, amen, a kiss on the cheek uh, with 30 pieces of silver jingling on his belt. Uh, amen. And Peter pulls out his sword uh, and cuts off one of those soldiers' arms or, or his ears. Uh, and his ear falls to the ground. Can't you see that soldier? Wouldn't you grab the side of your head? No ear, blood's running everywhere. Jesus grabs his head. And when he moves his hand, there's another ear. Somebody say, Woo. Somebody say, Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm trying to get you in the faith zone, the trust light zone. Come on, somebody. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. But this is the kind of God we serve. After all, if you God, can't you do whatever? Do whatever he wants. 
He said, I dwell in the heavens and I do whatsoever my soul desires. Come on. This is the Lord we serve. Somebody said, that's crazy. But somebody shout, it's reality. It's in this B-I-B-L-E that you say you believe. 